Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and welcome back to Brokerl Aesthetic. And in today's video, I'm going to try out some new products from Plaid Crafts. And these are the multi-surface paint pens. Uh, there are 12 in each pack. And the, this first pack over here is neon colors. And this one is just basic colors. So I'm going to experiment with these today. And I have some canvas pencil bags that I'm going to uh, use for this little project. So let's jump in and see what these colors look like. All right, I've got them open. And what I'm going to do is just try these out. First, let's read. It says, uh, for use on fabrics, glass, ceramic, wood, rocks, paper, plastic, metal, cork, and much more. Apple Barrel Paint Pens are mess-free, stress-free choice for paint projects. Non-toxic and ready to use. They go on smoothly and evenly. Make sure to shake it, press the tip down till the paint starts to flow. So basically like every other paint pen uh, ever. <laughs> so I've got a paper plate here and I'm just going to use that to swatch and uh, get my paint pens going. So now we've got uh, two black and two white in each pack. So that's handy. And then just your basic colors, just your Roy G. Biv here. And then there's a brown and a dark blue. Then for the neon, the black and the white, plus we have an, an orange-ish and a red-ish, I guess. <laughs> and then again with a rainbow, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So let's start with a black one. Just set the extras aside. Shake them up. As you can see, it's got that, uh, you know, little nib, which I don't know if you can pull it out and flip it around for a finer tip. I'm not going to mess with it right now, but we'll just uh, get the paint loaded. You can see it's starting to come out a little bit. Almost there. All right. Can't really see on the plate. Ah, there we go. See the shiny of the white, which I guess they're white. <laughs> Let's try with the black now. All right, now it's getting the paint loaded in there. And as you can see, there's the black paint coming out. Uh, this comes out pretty smooth on this paper plate. It's got a pretty good color there. So I will go ahead and load up all the rest here. Uh, as you can see, I've done that. And let's just start swatching these colors with the, uh, the basic pack first. This is the dark blue, brown, uh, mustardy, orangey color. The nice yellow, I like that. Red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and purple. That's more of a uh, pinky purple, but it's a good color anyway. Now for the neon, we'll start out with the uh, orangey-ish, I guess. And the red ish. <laughs> that one I kind of dried up a little bit, but it's fine now. There's the orange, and being as that they're neon, they give off really hardcore highlighter vibes. <laughs> and this just looks like a highlighter. <laughs> 
is that blue? And my surface is a tiny bit waxy, so it's not uh, blending out or whatever. It's not. Uh, where you want to call it? So they're the neon colors. So I'll get into my craft now. So I've got this and I've always sketched out a little bit of a design. I'm just going to do some hills, just some rolling hills. <laughs> um, I'll put this in here to prevent any kind of bleed through if there is any, but better to be safe than sorry when first starting out with this. And I'm just going to start with the uh, green, regular green. And this is on a kind of a coarse canvas, so the coverage is really good. And as you'll see, at first I don't like color it in too hardcore. Bleeds through a little bit, but not to the paper, so that's good. Um, because I was worried about A, ruining the nib because it's that, uh, like a, what do you want to call that? Kind of like a, almost a dried sponge? No. Like a hard packed cotton. I don't know what, what kind of material you would call those nibs, but you know what I mean, right? Um, and using it on this canvas, it does create little fuzzies on the end, like you would get with most any other marker when you use them on a, a coarse fabric. So I'm just kind of, I guess sketching in my color as it were to start because I was worried about ruining the nib or whatever you want to call it. And that's all I do is I just uh, go through the different colors. See, as you can see, the little fuzzy there. Um, I'm just going with greens and yellows because there's really not a lot of shades in these colors to choose from so I'll just go on and yeah it, it didn't bleed through so I felt like it was probably good enough just putting a light just doing it lightly which if you can tell by doing it lightly it kind of you know like with any other medium I suppose if you're doing colored pencil marker regular pencil hmm, i don't know so much about pastel but or you know whatever you do it lighter it's a little you know use lighter pressure it's a little bit lighter use more pressure it's darker as you can tell by my line there i'm not artistic very much <laughs> like this um so here I'm just kind of drawing out where some of my other hills are that I created with, I just sketched out in pencil and kind of going over it lightly to give it a, you know, again, a, a, a bit lighter of a color. And I just do that with the different markers or pens. So I've got the the neon green I think and it dries super fast which is nice make sure I have my paint loaded in there and I'm just adding a little extra a little of this lighter green I wanted to see if it blended at all and uh, you know how it would layer and this worked out pretty good um, as you can see, you, you can tell the difference in the, you know, you can see the difference in the color and you can also see how it kind of blends together or layered together. You guys know I'm terrible at explaining stuff. <laughs> but again, like I said, this is a, a coarse canvas, so... That was a, a bit of a challenge to work with um, these on this. I think with a smooth surface, they'll probably be 
you know, excellent. And at some point I will um, use them again. I think I want to do a, a couple of, I, I want to try on some mugs. So that'll be the next attempt or next experiment will be using um blank mug to to draw on Christmas probably and I'm gonna use the yellow and I'm just feeling if it's dry at all and they are it's dry so I'll color in this other hill with yellow and then I'll use some of that lighter green on it. And I'm just filling in some of the uh some of the spaces there with the green. Try to blend the green and the yellow together a little bit. Layer them, blend them. I I don't know, honestly. I I was trying to blend with my fingers, but it felt like it was already dry. There was nothing on my fingers, so. And then go back over it again with the yellow, and that kind of helps, so. I think you can blend with them if you just kind of work with them and experiment. So that's what they look like there. And I think... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to work a little more on these. I, I do. I work a little more on this off camera, and you'll see the re final result of it in a minute. I'll take this bright yellow and create a little sun just coming up over the hills. This is the neon, the <laughs> the highlighter yellow, I believe. And just bringing it down, and you can lay, as you can see here, you can see that over top of the other colors. So it either, either layers or blends. I don't know what you would call it, but it does something. So then I just take a yellow, or sorry, take an orange to kind of go around the sun to find that a little more, give it a little more of that, um, you know. Just a little more color there right on the edges. Bring it in just to try and, you know. <laughs> just an experiment to see how these would work on this. And um, I got these bags from Amazon. There were 10 in a pack. I'll link that below for you. Um, I'm going to use my Cricut uh, for some other bags. Um, and I shoved two of them at my mom making her paint on them. <laughs> and since I'm doing the uh, doing this for these paint pens, I might as well put all of my pens back in this. So I'll just write paint pens in my horrible chicken scratch right on the back. So I know what's in here and I know where to put them when I'm done. <laughs> I'll, I'll zhuzh that up a later time, maybe. I don't know, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Writes really nice. <laughs> so there's that. And let's take a look at the final result then. So I finished it off camera and that's it. I'm going to touch up a little bit there at the bottom, but I think it turned out pretty good. And these are really awesome uh, paint pens. So I'll make sure to have those linked to the Plaid website and the canvas bags that I got. Also, I'll link the Amazon link down below in the description box. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much that um i've been doing the i've been working a lot so i haven't really had a lot of time for my channel which sucks <laughs> but hopefully that's changing um yeah and as always so glad to be um 
a part of the plaid cross family they've got a whole lot of new stuff coming out new uh mod podge formulas are released uh, there's a super matte that i absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on i love my matte finish and hopefully a lot of this will help me um get back into the swing of crafting and creating so um yeah hopefully i'll be able to get back on a regular upload schedule until then um make sure you've ring the notification bell and you're subscribed and all of that good stuff and the youtubey goodness yeah <laughs> so great new product great fabric pa great paint pens can't wait to try out some more things with these but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching have a great weekend great rest of your week and all that good stuff take care y'all bye